God's Day, and welcome back to Season 5, my first episode of uh, Reese Being Refined by the Fires. Welcome. Today, I'd like to speak about um, God is using Trump to save us. <sighs> And I got, yesterday I received this in the mail from Our Daily Bread for the annual calendar that they uh, send out. So I'm a member, a subscriber. And after reading this, I was like, oh yes, this will definitely tie in with this episode. It's called Pointing to the People, Pointing People to the Savior of the World. Dear friend, God is sovereign and steadfast holding the reins of history in his hands, even when the world is chaotic and out of control. It's easy to feel disheartened to wonder how much worse it can get. I'm sure the disciples felt similarly before they met Jesus. The Romans controlled Jerusalem. There were constant rumors of revolt. And Herod was taking money from the people. Sound familiar? Sounds like something we ain't doing right now, right? Mm -hmm. uh, to build his lavish construction projects. The world during the time of the New Testament was a difficult place to live. I find it interesting that Jesus came at that time, came at this time, proclaiming a new kingdom and the good news that all who placed their trust in him were welcome. 2,000 years later, we have probably forgotten the news of that day. It's buried under the sands of the new empires and news events. This year has been more newsworthy than normal as wars have flared and our media regularly reports on the latest developments. I've stopped watching commercial TV because all of the news stations, Fox, uh, ABC, and CBS, and even um, mm, any TV related news, yeah, CNN, all of them are anything you can watch on TV. No, no. I'm now getting my news from YouTube from individuals who aren't financially backed and have no under hidden agenda because they're being paid behind the scenes by somebody else. And I'd advise you guys to do your research. Do your research. Don't just go and blindly vote the same way. It's time for a change. Like I said in my last video, I was born into a Democratic family. For 56 years, I voted. Well, no, not 56 years. As For as long as I could vote. Well, I didn't. Uh, as long as I've been voting, I've been voting Democrat. Because I was brought up in a Democratic family and they always said, don't vote Republican because that's for the rich people. Well, not necessarily. Now I'm not voting necessarily because Trump is rich. I'm voting for policies. What are Kamala Harris's policies? You don't know. You know why? She's flip-flopped. One day she fracking, the next interview she's not fracking. One day she's uh, I, she's the border czar. The next day she wants to let everybody else in. One day she's uh, bringing immigrants in from other countries. Giving them our money, taxpayers money. The, the United States citizens of America's money. Money that shouldn't be given to other people. Especially people coming over here. You should be able to afford to come over here and come over here when you when you can afford it and you can come over here. To, I'm all for helping people. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm a gentle-hearted person. Free-hearted. Will give my last away. But I'm also, I also believe in following the rules. And since there's no rules holding me to what party I should vote for, 
I'm changing my palette, my uh, party, because what is what are what does uh, Kamala stand on? What are her policies? You don't know because they change. She flip flops. Whereas Donald Trump has been a businessman who ran this country well, even though I didn't want to give him credit, even when he sent us the checks during uh, COVID. I thought, yeah, everybody has flaws. There are people in the Bible that had flaws, but God still used them. So who's to say that he's not using Trump to save us? Remember, he uses people. Jesus came down before. He's not coming back again. And when he comes back again, that's going to be the world is officially over. So don't wish that Jesus come back. No. But he uses people now. I personally believe from all the videos and research I've done on my own that he's using Trump, who has solid standards, who spoke, did speeches and, and debates and has given his uh, political views on his the 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 issues that he stands on, and before yes, I thought he was crazy for wanting his the checks we got for COVID. I thought it was cocky of him to want his signature on it. It's like man, we just need money, and the uh, they said they weren't go gonna do it. But they, you know, then we got a letter in the mail later that said they, that was courtesy of President Trump. Thank you, Trump. And like I said in my other video, I used to refer to you. I used to joke and refer to you as the, the, the orange guy. Now we need the orange guy. I never thought in all of my years that it would come down to me changing my party because I'm just not feeling Kamala. I'm sorry. And it's not, it's nothing personal. It's just, I have a problem with somebody who can't, who's always laughing and starts every conversation out some kind of way. I don't care what questions she asks. She starts off with telling her how she grew up and how her mama had to buy her first home when Kamala was in high school. I'm, I'm sick of that. Answer the questions that you ask. We've heard your story about how she couldn't afford to buy y'all first home until you went high school. Now answer the questions they asking, but you can't, you can't. Why? Because you don't know. You're wishy-washy. I'm like, what do you want me? We have to tell you what we want to see. When the teleprompter went out on that, uh, campaign you did, you were lost. 32. <laughs> 32. Yeah, we got to do it. Lost without a teleprompter. You're not ready, Kamala. Not ready. Go back to the drawing board. Get yourself together. You're not going to win. It's too many Trump supporters that are voting for him and praying that he wins. You can't beat prayer. I have a personal testimony. I'm a brain stroke victim that was saved because even the doctor who did the emergency surgery on me told my family, my husband, y'all need to pray. It's a matter now between her and God. And I'm here today because of prayer. Thanks be to God. So, I changed my voting status. I got the card yesterday with my updated status of Republican. And I, I never would have thought that a day would come where I'd have to change my party. But it's all about, don't get comfortable. You need to always be on the move and willing to change or pivot in the blink of an eye. And the things that I saw, mm -mm. I'm sorry, Kamala, I can't vote for you. 
You're not doing it for me and a whole lot of other people. So we're voting Trump and you won't be able to uh, run this country in the ground like you have been. It's like living in Sodom and Gomorrah. And then when you tried to bring Obama in to talk to black men, grown men can't be raised, especially grown black men. They don't like to be told what to do. And by you bringing Obama in, that just amplified that you just you might as well just not had not have brought him in at all and let them make the decision on who they want to go for in their own mind. But by him saying to vote for you, you can forget it. You can count every, all the men, all those people who watched that video to vote against you just because you did that. You can't do that. Black men don't like to be told what to do. Yep. But you still have some supporters. Because my uh, own household is divided because my husband believes in voting for you. But me? Hopefully he'll come around because I've been sending him videos your videos showing your flops and how you don't stick to policies, how you flip flop. One day you for fracking, next day you not for fracking. One day you for M you the borders are. The next day the U.S. is wide open and criminals coming across. Criminals from their own country coming across the border in. Hundreds, maybe thousands, but it was a lot of people on that video that I saw. It's thousands of immigrants here. You brought the Haitians over here and you let the Mexican criminals over here. They let them out of jail and you, they were like, okay, go to America. Their gates open now. Flooding. And it's a shame. That their mother of five. No, it's a shame that those rapists raped those little girls. Yeah, anybody can be raped at any time. But the specific fact that those little girls' innocence was taken from them by you. You're responsible for them losing their innocence. That's a doggone shame. And the mother of five, you're responsible for her death. And those kids being motherless now. You have five plus on your conscience. I don't see how you sleep at night. Is that funny? Because you miss laugh a lot. <laughs> oh, and the, the, uh, oh my God. The video where you was, you didn't realize you didn't, your, uh, mic was on and you were talking during the debate when you was in there, supposed to be in a, a conference with everybody who was talking about the storm and you was talking on your phone, didn't realize your mic was picking it up. You are a joke. No one, no men run countries. Well, no, I can't say that because the queen in England did a great job. But mostly men run countries. Step down. Step down. Because you're not fit. And Obama's not fit. And I regret voting for him. If I could take that vote back, I would. From years ago, I would. Both times. Because I fell for the okie doke. He was suave, black, and had savvy. So, I fell for it. Not no more. Now I'm voting for the policies 
not the person. That's important. And I advise you guys to do the same. Stop looking at the person. What do they stand for? What are their policies? So, pray and ask God to give you discernment on who you should vote for. Then, do it on November 4th or um, November 5th, or if you can do early voting, do that. But the main thing is everybody needs to vote. Everybody. We want this not to be a close race. We want a blowout. A blowout. And we want every state. We don't want any mishaps to happen. We want every state to be represented. So if any ballots come up missing or or, because they're trying to figure out how to get the uh, people where the storms were affected, that were affected by the storms, they're trying to find ways to get their ballots to them so they can vote. Even though they, they, I say I feel sorry for them because they are, they're displaced. They don't have it. And I know what it is to lose everything from when I was a teenager. Luckily, we've never lost everything with a storm. But when I was a teenager, I know what it is to lose everything. I left home that morning and our house burned down during that day. We had been riding for days with our car, our clothes that we had washed at the wash tier in the back of the truck. The night we decided to take them out, that next day, while we were at school and work, our house burned down. We had nothing but the clothes on our back. So I know what it feels like to be without stuff. May not have been as tragic. Well, no, because we lost our house, too. We had to live with my grandmother and uncles. So, yeah, I know what it is to lose a house. House and all your personal belongings, stuff that you thought you would have forever was safe in your house. I can relate because I, too, have endured loss. I know loss. And it happened the the, uh, summer before I started high school. So, my mama became very familiar with thrift shops. Yep. But you got to do what you got to do. I believe God let that happen to take her down a couple of notches because, (coughs) excuse me, she had been a working lady. And all of my clothes came from Foley's and Sackwood's and I had a fur coat when I was a little girl, a little rabbit bomber jacket, real rabbit. Yep. But I didn't want all that. I wanted clothes from the stores where my friends was getting clothes from Wieners. If you guys can remember Wieners. I didn't ask for a rabbit coat. I liked it, but when you're a kid, it's just like whatever is whatever. But enough about me. Go vote. It's needed. You can't take no time off. This is a this is an important election. The election of a lifetime. And I feel like If she gets in office, we're going to be rushed into uh, judgment. So do us, do the U.S. a favor. That's a big thing to ask. Vote for your country. Do your part. And vote the right way. Not the left. Vote right. Vote right, not left. Right. (laughs) Left. Not left. Vote right. (sighs) You guys stay blessed. And thanks for tuning in. 
stay tuned because I'll have at the end of the month, the last uh, Wednesday on the, I think the 28th, I'll be having my uh, special guests, Chantel and Bradley Rose, who will be very entertaining. So stay tuned. Love you guys. Bye-bye.